If you're watching this and any prophet has ever told you that your father, mother, brothers, sisters, or anybody related to you is the cause of your problems and they are spiritually attacking you, it's a lie. Go and apologize to that person. They have destroyed your family with that lie. That prophet has destroyed your family. Go and apologize. There was somebody that was saying in the comments uh, the other day that he finished serving his ogre, I don't know, five years, ten years, and his ogre established him. And a prophet now told him that his ogre is against his business. Come on. Did he give you any proof? Where is the proof? I'm okay if you present proof to me. Do you understand? I'm okay if I've seen proof myself without you presenting it to me. But if somebody just tells you, uh, just because he's a prophet, that your guy is... It's because you are looking for... Uh, uh, you, have been, you are pressuring him. They don't care about you. Those prophets, they don't give a damn about you. They can destroy your whole family and still collect money from you. Shebina, you carry yourself, go see the prophet. They will not tell you, uh, your guy, he's the one that he, he did you. You have seen it in the spirit. You, we need prayer. We need to do, do prayer. <laughs> They no longer pray prayers, do. They say they want to do prayer. <laughs> Before you know it, they would bill you. As you be mumu now, they bill you. You lose money since you don't get sense. Before you know it, you are now quarreling with the one mentor you had. The one guy that would have supported you and grew, uh, grown you. Some families have been divided. Mother against daughter. You know, father against children. Because they told the children that the father is a witch. The father is using, if the man is rich, they will say he's using your destiny to make money. If he's poor, they will now say, yes, he's actually a wizard. That's why he's doing juju. Because he's more believable when he's poor. Many families have been destroyed because that. They will tell you your mother-in-law is a witch. That's why you cannot get pregnant. Come on. Your mother-in-law may hate you, but come on. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. All those prophets, stop going to those prophets because one day they are going to tell somebody close to you that you are the problem. You know, there are women that, uh, uh, that will raise their children going from one prophet to the other. Each prophet will keep telling them, is this person that is a problem? Is this person that they will scatter the whole family? When the children now grow up and they face the first challenge, what do you think they will do? They will go to prophets. And prophets will tell them that their mother is the problem. By that time, the mother is now old and needs help. Prophet will not tell. That's karma. The children will split from the mother. The old woman will be dying alone. It's karma. Anybody that goes to prophets like that, prophet this, prophet that, prophet this, prophet that, is a recipe for disaster. Look at the person's life. The person's life is always a struggle. Because what? The prophet will isolate you from everybody. If the closest person to you is your wife, they will tell you your wife is the problem. If it's your husband, they will tell you your husband use your first son for juju. That's why the guy knows Abi book. <laughs> Any problem you are facing, they will never tell you that you are the problem. They will look for somebody closest to you or whoever you are suspecting and tell you, yes, that's the person. And then they will collect money from you. It's all about money at the end of the day and they don't care about you or your family or anything. So stop listening to, to them fake pastors. Now here's the thing. Sometimes before you, they tell you that, they will do one abracadabra juju miracle for you so that you believe them. And the one I want to talk about now is when uh, people invite them for home prayers. One of the worst mistakes you can make, invite fake prophet for home prayer. That day he will, div he will sow a seed of distrust and hatred in that family. And you know, remember that when you are inviting him, you have already given him information about what is, prob what is the problem with the family. Maybe nobody is succeeding in the family. Do you understand? He will not ask you your first son, what is he doing? He said that one went to Italy, they, they, they deported him. Second son, uncle, that one did this. You are complaining to him, but he's taking notes, mental notes. At least I've seen one pastor that has a physical note in his office. As we were telling him a problem, he was writing it down. I swear to God, I swear. So when he now comes to do a home miracle or anything, he, he already has information on everybody. So at the end, he will now say, where is the first son? First son will show you, are the first son. He will say, I'm seeing your destiny is shining. I'm seeing, what is this? Ital, Ita, Ita what? They will now say Italy. Okay, he's in Italy. What is Italy? Then he say, I, I spent some days in Italy. Yay! But I'm seeing them send you back. You say, yes, yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. He's a true prophet. At the end, they will tell you that it's your mother that is the problem. Or more innocent woman like this, they have put a problem on her head. 
stigma for life. For life. How can you defend such a thing? If somebody accuses you now of doing juju, how can you defend it? When you know that everybody around believes in that juju. Everybody believes in the prophet. He has done one miracle to confuse any, everybody. One of the worst mistakes you can make is to invite fake prophets to come and do family cleansing or village. You are an idiot. They are about to destroy your, your, your family for you. You know, first of all, they will first convince you that there is something wrong with your family lineage. That your grandfathers, that you can see your great-grandfather killed somebody. There is a curse in your family. Once somebody can convince you that you are cursed, they can scam you of money to remove the curse. Do you understand? At the end of the day, they will just take the money for the prayers and then 90% of people in that family will, be, uh, will become his members because they are surprised at how he knew information about them. Meanwhile, it was one of the family members that invited him that told him unknowingly. Some of them there, when they come, they will dig up charms in front of everybody. Or more, they will say that there's a charm here. They will start digging it, digging it, digging it, digging it. I will tell you how they do that scam. So when pastor comes, pastor will come with diggers. You understand? Of course, other diggers around might help, but pastor will come with diggers. He will say, let them start digging it. Let them dig it. As they are digging it, they are watching. And usually they like to do this at night, so it will be difficult for people to see. You know, at night, there will be light in one place, there will be no light in the other place. So they will look for a place where there is no light. Do you understand? <laughs> So as they are digging it, digging it, they will be watching whether people are watching. If one of the uh, diggers that came with the pastor will have the charm in their pockets. So when people are not looking, they will bury the charm. When people are not looking, they will bury the charm where they are digging. Then all of a sudden, they will start shouting, there's charm, there's charm, there's charm. They will now bring light and you see, there's charm there. One I've seen with my eyes is they brought live tortoise out of the ground. Live tortoise. When I was small, I was surprised. How could this happen? How could a tortoise be alive in the ground all those years? And they said that that's the tortoise holding the family back. At the end of the day, it was a lie. They came with the tortoise. Little tortoise. They came with it. So when people are not looking while they are digging, somebody will insert it there. There are videos on YouTube today of somebody catching them in the process. Because it was, it was a younger brother that was serving, working with his senior brother. They now told the senior brother that the younger brother did juju so that the business will not work. And they're going to come to the family compound and dig up the juju. So when they came to the family compound and they were digging, the younger brother now opened his phone camera and, we have, and was videoing them there digging. They were now calling him. True Life Stories on YouTube. And it's in Nigeria, right? Southeast. So they were now calling him, come out there, come out. Why are they, they are trying to distract him so that one of the diggers will insert the, 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 the charm there. In fact, they tried all methods. The guy refused to go there. They now put water. They said they should pour water inside the pit they are digging. In the name of holy water, they pour water so that it can be easy to hide. What happened was that when they now pour water, they, one of the diggers was trying to remove something from his trousers. So he put it under his trousers, close to his shoe, the charm. He, the one of the diggers put it there so that when people are distracted, he can pull it from there and put it on the ground. As he was trying to pull it, the guy, the younger brother now caught him and dragged him out and exposed that he had the charm there. Oh, more, they beat pastor. <laughs> they arranged pastor and the other guy beat them. So another system they use apart from pouring water there is they will now, while they're digging, they will now say, hey, it has run out from here. It has gone to the other side. Everybody will go to that side. As people are distracted running to that side to dig, one person will bury that thing there and cover it with sand they will dig there for like five minutes they will now say it has gone back to that place as everybody comes back they will now discover that there is a charm there once pastor has successfully scammed everybody there or more number one everybody in that family that witnessed it will become his member all the neighboring uh, houses in the community that hear about it will become his member and then he will give them one, fam one prophecy that will destroy the family divide, divide and conquer as long as the family is divided, they will keep coming to his church. He will tell them that it's their grandfather that is the problem. The old man that is about to die, he has less than five years remaining. Do you understand? They will just put allegation on his head. All they will tell is the wife, the second wife of the whatever. So if they come to your compound to dig on your camera, stay sharp. Now, guy man, come like that.